The National Fire Sprinkler Association has been in existence for over 115 years. Our mission has been very pure for a long time. It is to save lives and protect property through the widespread acceptance of the fire sprinkler concept. We've been very active in the codes and standards process as we promote the fire sprinkler industry and as well as we make sure that it evolves to protect properties and save lives, citizens and firefighters. And that's what we're doing here today. This is a training, a test, and a demonstration of the modern fire environment compared to the legacy fire environment. And we're doing it here in the streets. So it's always important for us to understand how fire science works. We're always intrigued to see how fire responds, how it reacts, the contents, the furnishings, the modern furnishings impact today's modern fire significantly. And that's why fire sprinklers are more important than ever. And we need to establish that through this testing to be able to communicate to everyone from a citizen to a policymaker to a realtor or an insurance agent or someone even within our own fire sprinkler industry to understand how they work, why they're important, and why we all need to work together to make sure that communities across America are code compliant and adopt the latest minimum building code. that it's important today with fire sprinkler technology to contain that fire to the room of origin as fast as we possibly can. So we need that fire sprinkler to activate and contain that fire. It's good for the occupants, it gives them time to escape. It's also good for the firefighters. We are partnering with state and local officials at these acquired structures. We are going to conduct four tests today showing the modern components of building construction as well as the legacy components of building construction. The fire environment has changed so much. In my career as a firefighter and in the fire protection industry, it has changed and evolved because the components of the building have changed as well as the contents. We've also put modern components into these buildings to make them new, from new windows to new construction features of the house. We also have old fire sprinkler devices at 50 years old. Fire sprinkler heads last a long time. Now we have one that's 50 years old and one that's brand new. We're gonna compare standard response sprinklers in the fire environment with quick response fire sprinklers. We're going to conduct four tests here today. Two basement fire tests that we are going to compare modern building components and legacy building components with modern sprinkler protection in some of the basement is protected with fire sprinklers. Some of the basement is protected with drywall. We're going to also conduct three room tests. We are going to compare new fire sprinklers versus old fire sprinklers and one without fire sprinklers. We're going to also conduct a final test that is a building with fire sprinklers in it that has a fire department connection on it. We're going to let that fire burn uncontrolled and then let the fire department pump that fire department connection. That will look at fires where we know that civilians or firefighters have perished and we're trying to promote that the fire department connect to the fire department connection and pump that system to augment the water supply for it. So today, as we were looking at the different tests, we're, we're always interested to see how well fire sprinklers performed, and they did not disappoint us today. With the testing that was conducted, uh, we were very pleased with the results, and we look forward to seeing how we can use this to share information with the fire service and others within our own fire sprinkler industry as well. Today was a great success for the National Fire Sprinkler Association 
Special thanks to our partners at the Pleasant View Fire Department, the Ashland City Fire Department, and Eastern Kentucky University for the work they did in helping us with these tests and demonstrations. We spent many months planning for this day and we've taken this to the street to say everything we thought and know about sprinklers is proven and we shared it with the public, we shared it with government officials, and we shared it with firefighters. Super Day, a big thanks, a big shout out to everyone who plays a part. And as you're promoting and sharing the word about fire sprinklers, remember, hashtag fast as water.